What is going on guys? So, hope you had a great day. I know I had a uh, kind of crazy day, hectic day, I don't know what to say. So uh, it started off with me and Reagan uh, going to clean out the pool. And then we ended up uh, renting a pump and it had some problems. So I'll roll the clip of that. I found one up there but that other one. All right, start to a new day. And the pool, I don't know if you guys saw yesterday's video, but uh, it definitely saved some time, I feel like, it using the tarp sure and the buckets. If you watch the clips will plug in, it's like there yesterday, but if we didn't clean it out yesterday, we'd probably be up to like here, dude. Yeah, it'd be up to that line right there. That would be. I mean, I guess we can get a pump, but. What are we doing? Where are we at? Where are we, full? Huh? Home Depot. Home what? Home Depot. Are we Depot right now? Yeah. All right, what are we renting and why? We're renting the trash pump because we're just going to save time. We went through a big hassle because this fool's car got declined, so we had to go to the bank, put the money in my account. Yeah, but now we're all good. All right, it's really dark, but we got all the stuff out here. Mission. All right, we made it in. Super dark, but we carried this huge generator. What? Dude, no, my mom's gonna be pissed. How are we gonna cut the zip ties now? Dude, it'll work. There we go. Yeah, out here doing the dirty work. Alright, so bad news, the pump didn't even work. Fuck we had to carry we had to carry this shit all the way in. We had to carry it all the way out. And now some jackass is like trying to follow us and stuff and get the plates because I don't even know, he's just a dick. But we're gonna see what we can do at Home Depot. All right, new pool, who dis? So we got the thing fixed at a uh, Home Depot. You know, they taught or they taught us what to do. They didn't even tell us what to do. But uh, we're at Donnie's pool now. We can get all that nasty shit out of there. There's a lot more water here than the other one. Yeah. It's so bubbly. No. Oh, there it goes. There you go. There you go. Damn, it snowed in Fresno. Just kidding, that's suds. Nasty suds. All right, we're back at the first pool. I'm winded. Can we get this one done? I'm gonna call it a night. We have done it. We have hauled this heavy son of a, like, I'm not even lying, this thing is so heavy. And like, what, 70 pounds? yeah, 70 pounds in like, he's got this, the bags and shit, and then, we gotta make sure we don't trip over a bunch of things. But overall, we got both the pulls done. Even if it wasn't the way we wanted to, because this thing did not work the way we hoped it would. Like, it did work on Donnie's pull very well, but on this one, not the greatest, but you know what, we got them both done, so. But back to me here, and uh, so, the reason why you guys probably clicked on the video is to hear the review of the Profile Z coaster. Here she is, all nice and beautiful. So this hub is actually priced at uh, $357 and it actually varies to 500 something dollars. That's if you get like the tie bolt, driver and axle and uh, all that. It's really well known and misunderstood as actually being a half cassette, half uh, free coaster. And like when I got it, I, I thought it was gonna be really like the full potential of a cassette, but uh, actually, I was wrong. You can actually only pedal so far back up until the point it like goes back to free coaster. And that just depends on the slack ring. I have a 90 degree slack ring, which means I can pedal about, uh, the slack rate's about a quarter crank. I really like that slack ring though. You can change the slack rings. Uh, they go up to, I think, 120 degree slack ring, which is like about a third of a crank. Um, but I like it right where it is. If anything smaller, it would it would engage too easy. Uh, it's kind of like perfect where I have it right now. What I really like about the hub is you're still able to do like um, tire taps on it and uh, 360 to pivot manual, 280s and stuff like that. It, uh, it has a fairly loud hub, I guess. I mean, I don't like my hubs too loud, but if you wanna hit listen, if you wanna listen, it's got a decent amount of uh, sound behind it. And basically what you do is you take, okay, so here we are, here we are, full crank, and then what you do is you take one down, go back up, and it's a free coaster. Don't mind my wheel, it's rubbing right now. I need to trim my wheel and stuff. But yeah, you guys get the point right there. If you want, you can degrease the hub to make it louder, but I personally don't like having my hub too loud. 
and I cannot afford to uh, mess this hub up, so I chose not to. But yeah, it's got, it's pretty loud as is though. It is not as loud as my Mini. I'll give you guys a quick sound test of this one. So here's a sound test of my Mini. It's pretty loud. I'll stop that there. You guys get the gist of that. So like realistically, what this hub is, is just a free coaster that lets you know when it's engaged by the cassette. And um, yeah, it's like, I really like that though because when I would ride my friend's bike about a coaster, I wouldn't be able to like know if it was engaged or not, so I would do a 180. Not expect to uh, have to pedal backwards and it would be engaged and I would uh, get taken by surprise by that and it would throw me off. It's pretty cool having one of these hubs honestly because not a lot of people have them. I think there's one other kid in Fresno who has one, but I think he might have broke his. I don't know what he did to it, uh, but I mean, everyone who's had this hub has had it for a long time, had no really big issues with it. Um, I really love Profile. Uh, I will always ride Profile hubs because I trust them. They last the longest. I've had my front Profile Mini for about oh, like three years now, and the back Mini I had for three years as well, but I had no issues with it. I just took it off because I wanted to try something new. So my old Mini is just, if anything ever happens to the Z Coaster, my old Mini is like my backup wheel and it'll probably last. I feel like the Z Coaster will last just as long though. It's pretty sick being able to like still do tire taps and then if I want to just like crank down on time and push it back, I'm in coaster mode after that. Um, pretty fun, honestly. Like when I first got a free coaster or the Z Coaster, I was uh, it took me a little bit to get used to it because I had ridden cassette for like five years. And I remember telling myself like I'll never switch to a coaster unless I, there's like a way I can still have like pedal pressure and do taps and stuff like that. And Z Coaster was the magic solution, so I got it. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure it's the most expensive BMX hub. Um, I ended up getting mine for 400 bucks, so that's crazy. Just the hub alone is 400 dollars. That's like more than my frame. That's more than any part on this bike. 400 dollars, and then all these spokes and the rim. This this back wheel is probably worth about. Probably like six hundred dollars just for this back wheel, not even including the tire. Probably like six hundred twenty because this tire is only like twenty bucks. Like that hub is ridiculous. Which I mean, I feel like that's the reason why not many people have them. They're really, really like expensive. Um, do I think it's overpriced? A little bit, but I mean, but I mean they're probably not cheap to make. So I mean, can't really do much about it. But uh, I really enjoy this hub. I will probably ride this hub for years uh, a lot of people ask me is it worth it is it worth it i think it is because it fits me and even riding park i love having a coaster i just love the silence it kind of when i had a cassette it kind of would distract me if i would do like any big box jumps or anything it kind of like when i had brakes too every time i'd hit the brake and just silence the back wheel i'd feel so much more calm and collective really funny though um, I remember I was at Kaiser one day and I was trying to 360 the box and like I was tagging it and then my chain broke and there was no noise or no anything and for some reason I could just throw the box so easy like without any problem and it just in my head I feel like it was just the noise like bothering me. So I really do recommend this hub. Um, pros and cons. Pros. Uh, it, it's a really good hub if you want a free coaster but still want the benefits of a cassette like tire taps and just like like bitch cranking I guess if you want to call it that. Um, cons, very expensive. Um, you have, oh, you, if you want to grind uh, with it, you have to get special hub guards made for it. The only other guard that fits it is the G Sport ones that you just tie on with string or you zip ties. And those break off really easy. Um, I'm in the process of getting a Z Coaster like hub guard, but I haven't got around to it yet. But I will, I promise you, I will get one soon. Apparently, there's like some special tool you have to use to work on it to like uh, take the slackering out and stuff like that. I forgot how it works, but if you go on Profile's website, it'll show you how to do it. I also, I remember hearing a rumor, I'm not sure if it was true or not, but I'm pretty sure someone said you can turn this into an Elite. It's funny, because that's like the body shape of the Elite. Another thing too, it's like, it's not too big for a free coaster. If you guys are wondering the weight of that hub, it's about 20 ounces, uh, pretty light I guess for a free coaster. I mean, a lot of free coasters are kind of on the heavier side. It's uh, it's about like a little bit heavier than my mini, but about a little bit lighter than the coaster. So it meets like right in the middle. Overall, like I, don't, I did not notice the difference in weight in my back wheel when I got it. Uh, I really enjoyed the Z coaster though. Like I feel like it's opened up a lot of like new tricks that I've was kind of like like just half-assing on my cassette. And I feel like with the Z coaster, I've I've committed to a lot more things, fakie wise, and just like sometimes even just like riding 
like box jumps and stuff like that, I feel like the no noise really helps me and calms me down in the air. I remember like right when I first got it, I had so many of my friends asking to ride my bike because they wanted to try it out. So if you do end up getting this hub, you probably have your friends ask to ride it because it's a it's a rare hub, you know. It's like not a lot of people have it. Um, I can see why though. It's very expensive and. Uh, you know, I feel I feel like why, why you know get that when you like can get a coaster cassette for like two hundred dollars, only even three hundred dollars cheaper. And I understand that you know not a lot of people can like afford that. I actually paid mine off through the bike shop. Shout out to her Bauer BMX for letting me do that. I actually paid mine off in payments, so that's how I was able to afford this hub. So in the end, would I recommend this hub? Absolutely, it's very nice. But like I said, it's very 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 overpriced. But uh. Wait, what can you do? Profile. I mean, they're American made though, so it's more expensive to make. Um, very strong though. Profile, I swear by their hubs, they're so good. Like, honestly, they're, they're so good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, if you have any questions about the hub that I might be able to answer, comment down below. If not, you can go to Profile and they'll probably have the answers to your questions. So until next time guys, I'll see you tomorrow, I swear, I know I said yesterday's video, uh, there's going to be riding clips today, but it rained again, so I'm sorry, but it says tomorrow, no rain at all, and it hasn't been raining since this morning, so hopefully it's dry out, more than likely we'll get riding clips tomorrow, but I'll see you guys tomorrow.